Ben Crenshaw was born to play golf. His mentor, Harvey Penix, said Ben's hands just naturally fit on a golf club, and even as a teenager, his putting stroke was one of the best in the game. Clearly, Ben Crenshaw was destined for golfing greatness. In 1984, he realized a childhood dream as he won the Masters. Ben is just 12 feet from the back edge. He's looking at a birdie opportunity there. And he did it in grand fashion. Yes, sir. This break from his right to his left. Slow now. But this is, that's one of the greatest putts I've ever seen. It's a straight uphill walk, and we go finally uphill in between those two big bunkers and you're at this sloping green and you see the clubhouse behind us. I can't be this lucky. I can't be this fortunate to, to have done this. In 1995, his beloved teacher, Harvey Penick, passed away just before the Masters began. But with Harvey's memory of 15th club in his bag, Crenshaw went on to win his second Masters, thrilling golf fans throughout the world. Oh, landed just on top of the ridge. An incredible golf shot. 12 feet behind the hole. I'll never forget, as long as I live, those people cheering. I mean, they just, they were so great. Yes! They were people just screaming at the top of their lungs, and they sensed that it might happen, and it, and it was more of a long, sustained applause, and gosh, it was just unbelievable, but still people said, Harvey, Harvey, and it was on their lips, I could tell. Ben Crenshaw has won the Masters for a second time. I'm going to leave you all in one thought, I'm going to leave. I'm a big believer in fate. I have a good feeling about this. That's all I'm going to tell you. In 1999, Crenshaw captained the U.S. Ryder Cup team to one of the greatest come-from-behind victories in the history of school. I'm not kidding you. They're the greatest guys I've ever seen in my life.